I'm Mary. Welcome to my channel. I am on my island of Hallelujah, which is my all dogs go to heaven themed island. And right now I wanted to show you and refresh your memory really quick of my paw print pond. It's a pond. It's an island. It's actually um, on the river on one side of my land bridge here and this land bridge right there is going to be um, my rainbow bridge that goes to heaven so on these paw prints i am honoring four or on this island i should say i'm ordering honoring four of my um, dogs that have passed away in the last few years on this particular paw print i have tommy he's the most recent dog that passed away and there's Toby. Um, I want to say he passed away in 2017, so it's been several years. Um, but I have two more dogs to put out their pictures and have a tombstone for them and a little memorial. And that's going to go on my next paw print pond. So on this one, I made this offline. And I promised when I made my second one, I would go ahead and do it so you all could see it. So that's what we're going to do today. So hang on and we're going to get started. All right. So if you remember, this area right here had a whole lot of houses on it. Um, Joey's house is still sitting here because I have something very special planned for Joey. And he may be moved a little bit, but right now he's going to stay where he is until I figure out where I want him. Uh, because he's a duck and he's not a dog, I'm not putting him in heaven. But I have a special job for him. I, I really like Joey and I, I'm, I'm really working on a, a storyline that will keep him on this island. So for now he stays and I do have a dog in the background who's being a little nosy or nosy. Well, nosy probably too, but noisy. Um, so just ignore him if um, you hear water slurping or whatnot. But definitely we just wanted to remind you this is the area that I had a bunch of houses. I went ahead and moved those houses into what is going to be my neighborhood and my neighborhood is going to be heaven um, now i am lacking a whole bunch of inspiration for this area i really i i i haven't moved them up until now just because i didn't know what i was going to do so i don't know if you all do this but one thing i do for inspiration is i'll go ahead and move the houses and say okay you know i'll put them i'll just place them someplace no real big rhyme or reason to where I'm placing them. And then inspiration usually comes and then I end up moving them or sometimes they stay where they are. Um, so I have moved some houses into the neighborhood. In fact, they're all moved pretty much somewheres in this area. So I just wanted to let you know that that happened today. I did that this afternoon while I was prepping for the video, but right now, we're gonna go ahead and make that pond and we'll get into it. Here we go. All right, so here I am with my gear on. I'm ready to waterscape and I just wanted to let you know what I'm gonna be doing. I am going to start just making an area that's bigger than what I actually need, hopefully. And then I'll start um, making it into the pond that I want it to, to be and what I want it to look like. So um, bear with me as I kind of work through that process. I may go back over to the other pond to look at it to see what I did over there. Um, this is gonna be a little different than the video I put out specifically on how to make a paw print pond where I did pretty much use someone else's design and link that information in that particular video. However, I have changed this design um, to fit this particular area uh, just because things have to be a little bit smaller. So here we go.
Well, hi, I'm back just to do some explaining. Um, so it is actually Monday morning right now. Uh, when I was working on this previous part of the video, it was Sunday night and it was getting pretty late. Uh, so I had to go to bed and just kind of rest my eyes and get refreshed. So I am off this morning or today, which is nice. And I have a little time to go ahead and finish this video. I really need to get it uploaded because it's supposed to come out today. So I just wanted to explain to you what I did. When I woke up and looked at the pond, I realized that I did make a mistake. I had allowed for an extra space between the um, this paw print here and this one here, which threw the whole pond off. So this was too high making the pond larger than it should be. It needed to be smaller. So I had to lower, actually I, I corrected because it threw this whole thing off in um, relation to how it looked on the, the bridge here. Let me show you. In conjunction with the other paw print. Like they may not be exact, but when, I, when you're walking up this land bridge, you should be able to see oh so slightly the the two ponds and so the one here that i'm working on currently is not carved out so you won't see the the full effect um but when you're walking up i was noticing that the actual paw prints were real low on the one i'm making now when you compared it to the one i finished so i had to go ahead and um, just correct it and raise them up a little bit and fix the the spacing so I've already done all that and I'm ready to go again uh, let me show you what this looks like on the map so far Ta -da! so you can tell that they're very similar um, there's a couple differences just because of the way the other one was placed so close to the other cliff cliff that went to my shopping district um, but yeah, they look pretty nice and it's going to look a lot nicer when I open up the river and it's surrounded by water. So we're going to get going and I'm going to go ahead and continue this so I can get this uploaded this morning. Here we go.
so I'm hopping back in here just to kind of let you know what I've done and what I'm doing right now. Um, so I have at least made an outline here to make an island. It needs to be cleaned up, but I'm going to decorate this area first. Um, I want to make sure I have enough room for all the decorations and I'm going to make it possible for my villagers to walk to this pond instead of the other one is the villagers can't get to it. Um, but I want to make this one where the villagers can get to it. So I'm going to make a little walking path to it. So I do want to make it walkable. Um, I don't want to have it super tight where you just can't manage to get around. Um, so with that in mind, I made a big outline so I have room to decorate and room just to walk it to make sure it's walkable. And then um, that may be where I'm going to leave you today. My next video is going to be uh, Joey's house. I have something very sweet in mind for Joey's house and it is going to be on the water as well. But I think I'm going to have to move it a little bit because obviously I can't leave this spot like this and it won't let me break it um, until I move his house. So some of this won't be able to be cleaned up until I move Joey's house. Uh, and then you can see what I'm going to do with his area around there. I will um, make the little path to Joey's house and to this land bridge in the next video and completely open up the water around this area. Um, and I think I may have to do some modifications on the cliff behind me and the cliff on the side of me. So that's to come in the next video. But for this one, I'm going to go ahead and decorate this area similar to how I have the other one decorated. And um, I'm going to post this video so we can get it uploaded. All right. Um, I will be back at the very, very end.
So I'm back and this is where I am at. Um, let me place a garden bench right here. And push it back. So I, op I opened up this walkway just for now, just so the villagers can have access to this area. Um, I did work really hard to make this walkable. As you can see, I, I kind of struggled a little bit with some placement of some of these items to make sure I had my, my, my memorial, <laughs> two M's too quickly together there, my memorial together uh, for my puppies and that it looked nice. I am going to be tweaking a lot of this as um, the week progresses. So when we come back and revisit this area, because I will be still working here with um, Joey's house and the river and all of that, you can see what I've done. Uh, you'll be able to come back and I'll be able to show you exactly what I've done. But you did see the process of making this special pond um, and the, making it an island. Um, the size may change. It may become a little smaller in areas. I'm going to work with the shape of it. So it is going to be changing, but definitely you can see how it looks now. And I think it's really pretty. Um, actually, I have an idea. Let me just do this. I wanted to put this code here, this ribbon code, but it, the code is only two squares and there was three there. So if I had put it right where I'm standing, it would have been off center. I really wanted to put it here. So what I'm going to do is put the rose in the middle. Let's just see what this looks like. You know, I think that's nice. And the rose makes up the third spot. Um, yeah, I like that. Okay, cool. Trial and error, everyone. Trial and error, as you all know. But I'm going to add more flowers. I'm going to be putting some clear spots so that way weeds and whatnot won't come through and spawn or fossils won't spawn in here. Speaking of fossils really quickly, I have a ton, like lots, because this island has fossils that's spawning every day um, until I take care of every single spot on the island where there won't be any fossils. Milton still has fossils. I still have fossils and storage in Milton. Um, so I have lots. A lot of them have not been assessed, but some of them have. If you have the need for fossils, let me know and we'll set up a time, a day and time for you to come visit and fill up your pockets and take them away. Because I would just love for someone to come and take them away from me. Um, that would be beautiful and awesome. So anyways, here we are. This is the finished product for now. Uh, there will be some more touches coming along, but let me just walk you through. Like I did on the last one, this is Christmas. Ah, Christmas. Um, he was a very small puppy that was emaciated and could barely walk, but he found the strength to walk up my street up my sidewalk up my porch on christmas morning several several years ago um and we were standing on the porch that christmas morning and all of a sudden here comes this puppy walking up our sidewalk the saddest looking puppy ever um he walked he managed to get up the steps and he just looked at us and he just kind of fell over and that was it he was ours my son was mom can we keep him yes of course we can keep him and we named him christmas so this is christmas sweet dog kind of like toby he was afraid of everything but very sweet dog i don't know what his past life before he, coming to my house was um i know he was very small when he came to my house so from the day he came to my house he knew love and joy, but I don't know what, what he had in front of him before that, but I'm glad it was just for a short period of time. However, this is Mickey. So Mickey looks a lot like Tommy. There's a reason for that. Mickey um, is Tommy's brother. They came from the same litter. They were puppies together. 
Um, I went ahead and picked a puppy from the litter that was to be mine and I had picked Mickey. Mickey was my dog. He was my puppy. Um, Tommy actually began as my son's puppy, but Tommy adopted me as his mom shortly after. Uh, it didn't take him long to kind of say, no, I'm yours. So, but Mickey was my dog. He started out as my dog and I love him very much. So yeah, um, tears will start flowing if I keep talking about him, but very special dog and loved me every day of his life. So there's my dogs. Anyways, I don't have room for editing anymore. I've already been editing this video as I've been going along. I'm late making it. Um, so I apologize for that. I hope you've enjoyed this, this kind of, I don't know if it was a tutorial or just you watching me make this, uh, Paul pond and Island. It's going to look a lot nicer when it flows in the river and has Joey's house somewheres near it. Let me show you what it looks like on the map and then I'm going to call it good and upload this video. So there you go. There are the two ponds, one on each side of what's going to become Rainbow Bridge. All right. Well, that's it for me today. I hope you have a great week. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope that you'll like this video, that you'll subscribe to, uh, to my channel if you haven't already. Thank you for subscribing if you have done that. And if you think you know someone who would like this kind of content, share it with them. I, I'm looking to have new subscribers uh, all the time. I get all excited when I see a new subscriber join my channel. Anyways, subscribe if you want to. Have a great week. I'll see you in the next video. Bye, everybody.